Hi folks, RC Shed again, Mark Jordan. Welcome back to another lockdown uh, video. And this one is a continuation of my uh, video I did for my FG uh, 1.5 scale Schumacher uh, FG petrol race car, which is my number one favorite car. And if you've uh, watched that review, you'll know all about how much I love that car. Uh, coming second close to my, my favorite uh, 1.5 scale petrol car is this one. Uh, same kind of age. Uh, in fact, this is actually one of the original MCD 1.5 uh, scale rally cars. And obviously this is of the Petter Solberg uh, world champion rally driver. And uh, what's his first name? Summit Mills, can't remember his first name. But they actually won the Lombard uh, RAC rally in this car and became world champions. So I got this about six years ago, this, this RC car. Uh, it is looking a little bit tired. It's not looking as good and as fresh as the, the FG up there, but that means that I use it. And by user, I mean, this is a four wheel drive beast. Super impressors, everybody knows about them. The Colin McRae's, Peter Solberg, they know that the Subaru Impressor is a bit of an animal. It's a real bad boy kind of car in real life and also is no different to in the RC model like this one. Uh, as I said, this is probably my second favorite car uh, in my collection, although it is quite old. Can you actually see me over there? I, I can't, it just looks like I've got my head sat on the top, but that's the difference between the size of this one and actually my FG. F1 car which is nice and sleek this is more of a, a bigger kind of car with the body shell and stuff so yeah getting back to uh, the fact of my Subaru WRC four-wheel drive uh, MCD rally car so as I said this is a permanent four-wheel drive uh, that one up there <coughs> two-wheel drive but what makes this 1.5's car so much fun is the fact that it's four wheel, four wheel drive. And basically for anyone who doesn't know what four wheel drive, it means all wheels drive at the same time, giving it a lot more traction and a lot more fun because you can drift this like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I did a, view, a review of this, or not a review, but of, of me running this truck uh, a few years ago in the rain and it was just so much fun. It was drifting like you, you just can't imagine. It was phenomenal. And you're just blipping the throttle and keeping the, keeping the drift going around, water spraying everywhere. And it was just the best fun ever. Uh, I think I was running with one of my friends who was running an FG 1.5 scale Porsche at the time. Uh, but this, that was rear wheel drive, whereas this was four wheel drive. And it was just so much fun. Had so much traction and uh, so much so, in fact, if I reach over here, you can see exactly how much fun I was having on uh, with this car. So basically, if you can have a look, can you see that? You see the, uh, the burnout holes on it? And then on this one, you can actually see the same all around the front of the tire and stuff. So I shredded a set of tires. Now, I would have, before I knew uh, that I'd have problems with replacing the tyres, I should have realised to be a bit more careful with them, as these tyres are near on possible to get hold of now. MCD, or the MCD Rally, which this is, was actually superseded by the, the new uh, MCD Rally, uh, which is not really based on any cars, it's more of a uh, generic kind of car, whereas these original rally B ones were based on uh, Subarus, Mitsubishis, uh, 206 GTIs, uh, what else was it, oh, the Citroëns, Xaras, so they were based on real life rally cars which I really prefer but the only problem with that is because they're getting quite old now getting parts is nigh on impossible but luckily I did manage to get these tyres, wheels and tyres, a full set of wet tyres for it uh, and it's kind of changed my way of playing with it anymore now because I don't really want to have to, uh, it's been more of a shelf queen now because I don't want to knacker out these 
these wheels and tyres and they're bloody expensive. I think each one works out to be wheel on tyre is about 60 quid per wheel and tyre. So there's a lot of money so I don't want to end up roasting them like I did with these. I don't think I like it, I do like the blue, uh, the black rims, I think they're a lot nicer.